Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's Ryan from PX3 and bringing you the my round three game from the online digital tournament that they had a couple of weeks ago. Uh, for those of you that saw my uh, my round two match, uh, I'm again up against another Android, and uh, that was pretty much the majority of the the, uh, the decks that I played against. I played against two Androids, one Vegeta, and had to technical issues which those of you that played in the online tournament probably know what I'm talking about but kicking off into this game um, I was able to go second this time as opposed to round two which is as a black deck is definitely what you want um, I do have the secret rare in hand which is good and the three cost Sun Goku GT as well um, but kicking things off my opponent was just able to protect the life um, a couple of early leader swings, um, we're just going to take that one and get the card in hand. My opponent is going to play the Krillin, search the top 5 and dig a little bit deeper for a 17 or 18, which they find their ramp, perfect for them. Um, we both have pretty good hands here at the time. Uh, looking back, he's probably pretty much just looking for his late game pieces now. Um, he's got his ability to ramp, and there he goes, finds the Broly, perfect for him. Going to play the Self Awakener, take the life, uh, get a little bit more cards in hand, and swing the 25k, which he will take. No doubt, next turn he's probably going to be looking at playing his Destructive Strength, which is just a part of Green's plan, just to be able to ramp a little bit more. And we've seen Green kind of introduce the Trunks, uh, back into the deck just to give more options for a, kind of a double ramp with the four cost We see him ramp into the Broly as well, which is pretty unfortunate and Felt like when I was when I was playing green I always ramped into either an eight cost Broly or a super combo So I definitely know how that feels but uh, we're into my three energy plus marker turn The perfect opportunity to play the secret rare which is going to be pretty difficult to remove but um i have been enjoying playing the three cost bardock on this turn as well um, just because again it's so difficult for them to remove that card early on but uh but here we're going to play the secret rare swing the 30k uh, generate the marker and from memory i do play the one cost just to be able to draw uh, a little bit deeper into the deck um, at this point oh no sorry i don't looks like i'm gonna leave the marker um, just in case they do have removal um, they're allowing them to awaken i am definitely looking for a five cost bardock at this point just to have a big body on the field that they're not going to be able to remove until they get to eight energy unless they want to uh, use a big bang attack and neg an energy but at the moment i don't have it so i'm digging for it i'm hoping to find it but uh, my opponent's just gonna go a little bit wider play a couple 20ks uh swing the 30k now on lead into the secret rare and gonna use the gigantic media they want to get this card off the field just with how much um, value this card can generate 60k is going to be difficult to get out of, especially with no super combos, so I will let them take that. They did at least use the Gigantic Media to get that out of hand, and here we see the Trunks providing the double ramp, so that now he's going to be on 8 the following turn, which uh, which just spells Broly all over. I'm going to get a leader swing in, and I will combo just to try and put a bit more pressure on since I am unawakened. Um, I kind of need to get as many cards out of their hand as possible right now uh, because if I continue to allow their hand to blow up while they have this much energy, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Get the 25k swing and get a 10, 10k combo out of hand. And uh, here I'll play the one drop and then pair that up with the three cost Bardock just with the amount of uh, value this card can generate, especially earlier on in the game. Um, it's really good. Get one of these 20k swings off the field um it's going to be yeah they're not really going to want to uh, protect this card necessarily they're more focused on protecting life at this point which he continues to do gets up 25k still has his four cost on the field and uh that's it for me i'll pass turn and uh he's probably licking his lips at playing this broly this turn 
30k into the Goku. Considering he's got all his uh, energy open, I will let that go. And he's going to swing 20k into the lead. Take that, get a little bit closer to my my uh, awakening turn. Here's the Broly. Bardock is long gone, and uh, I believe he just skips. No, okay, gonna let me awaken. 45k at lead. That's a no-brainer. I'll take that one again. Really digging for five cost Bardock. Gonna get another swing here. I will awaken, find another super combo, which is great, but still chasing for that 5 cost Bardock. 45k, we'll take that one. I do have the Para Brother, Para Para Brothers in hand, so I do have a way to stun this Broly, but not necessarily a way to remove it right now. So we'll swing lead. We'll use uh, leader effects, check the top card. At least that way if it is Bardock, I can search in I can uh, yeah, draw into it with the one cost but uh, from memory I don't believe that it was so instead we're going to play the four cost and we're going to generate a marker get some more pressure get some more cards out of their hand 30k attack he's going to use his super combo he's really just trying to protect his life stay as healthy as possible and let Broly do all the work um, and then from here we're able to play the three cost just to keep that marker active um, get another body onto the field try and remove this four cost just to relieve a little bit of pressure for the following turn he doesn't have a massive hand right now and i do know that i'm able to stun this broly pop the marker i'll be able to draw a card with the secret rare and uh just trying to find ways to dig into this broly uh, sorry into this bardock as much as possible we're gonna see a 30k swing um, I am a little bit worried about a double strike and a bunch of gigantic meteors coming down, so I'm, I'm going to protect this, get the Para Para Brother off the field as well, since he does have a lot of on-play KO effects. And uh, he goes for the four cost, which at this point I kind of was a bit convinced that maybe he didn't have a six cost and that there was probably another Broly coming down. But uh, then he went to the Krillin. And at that point, I felt pretty safe that he obviously didn't have another Broly or he would have played that. And uh, here he's probably just trying to push me to one and then play something big or all in me with um, some extra cards. So um, since there's no threat of the double striker, at least closing me out for this turn, um, I'm going to try and stay off the one life as much as possible. I do still have a pretty healthy hand, especially with three super combos. Um, I've got another Para Para in hand to deal with Broly since there's not another one coming down. But he will just continue to go wide, continue to play these 20k attacks, try and get more cards out of my hand, try and chip uh, my combo power or at least push me to one. Which here, since he only has two more energy, he can't play something and use his extra cards. So I do take that one. I expect him to leave the energy up. And here we're just going to try and again put more pressure on. Um, I've definitely got a bigger hand than he does over double his hand size. And here he again just continues to combo, just uh, really is worried about the potential of uh, a five cost Bardock. So I will switch my strategy up a little bit now that his hand size is so low and uh, try and remove this board. Pray he doesn't have another Broly in hand, which he pretty much needs to draw into. Otherwise he would have played it the previous turn. Do a little bit more cleanup. Um, try and dig a little bit deeper into my deck not drawing another five cost Bardock which uh, we've only got 18 cards left in deck so they're either in my life or at the very very bottom of my deck we're able to clear his field a little bit more using all of my energy uh, here probably a bit of a misplay um, I think I miscalculated my uh, my energy instead of playing the Bardock with the three and then using the Para Power for the uh, marker, um, I used the Hercule instead. And then once I used the first one, I realized I couldn't go into Bardock then. So I committed to another Hercule, uh, had to use the extra card to remove the Krillin, and then of course saving the Para Para Brothers for the Broly. So if I had my time again, I probably would have played the Bardock and then used the Marker for the Para Para, but that's fine. I was able to just get some 10Ks back into my hand. 
um, I'm forced to defend out of this swing because I'm only on one. Lucky for me, he didn't have uh, anything massive as we can see in his hand and he drew into some, some average cards. Um, he's got another draw opportunity with the Android 18 and he's finding his super combos, but probably the opposite of what he needs right now. He needs offense and not defense, especially with his Broly being stunned. So again, he's playing his four cost out just to get another body onto the field, something more to swing with. Gonna leave this one at 20k. Um, I'll use the Hercule off the field again. And uh, he's out of pretty much offensive cards to play. He again, is forced to defend. Finding another secret rare, not the double strike that I want, but uh, here is kind of where I feel like I need to start putting a lot more pressure on. Takes the 25k attack, and then finally, finally find the five cost Bardock. So. In my mind, I'm thinking, well, this is probably a good opportunity to go for game here. As opposed to just dumping on the Bardock here, I figured I'd give him another 25k attack because he's taken the other two. Um, and then I'll get another card out with the SS4. Here he uses the, com the uh, super combo. I've got a lot of 10ks in hand, which uh, feels pretty good. And then since he's on one, uh, I'm able to just play another secret rare, get the energy marker, and then have the swings available with the three cost Bardock as opposed to dumping on the five cost and just get a little bit more chip in, um, a little bit more cards out. Hercule, get another 10k back. And uh, committing to going for game here as opposed to trying to stun Broly again. We're going to go a 30k swing, try and get another super combo out, which we do. Drawing into another Bardock, which I mean, I haven't seen them all game, so of course they come here at the end when I don't need them. And then here we're just going to dump all of our 10ks, all four super combos. See how much combo power he's got. We might as well combo the Bardock since they're not going to be much use for us. And unfortunately for him, he had two dead cards and the two extras, which just wasn't going to be enough. So we were able to take this game. Um, that Broly stuck on the field for a while, but wasn't able to put a lot of pressure on. But uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments or anything, feel free to leave them down below. If you do enjoy these type of videos, then uh, yeah, feel free to let us know and we'll continue to make them. If you enjoy, yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.